23-001, State v. Nathaniel William Thomas, appearances. Frankie Grossman appearing on behalf of the state. And good morning, Your Honor. Cindy Castillo appearing on behalf of Nathaniel Thomas, who is present out of custody. If I may approach, Your Honor. Yes. Your Honor, the original has been filed with the clerk. All right, Ms. Kenobi, is there anything else you need me to be aware of? I know you haven't entered an appearance this morning. I'll have you do that just for the record. Sure, Your Honor. Samantha Kenobi on behalf of Nathaniel Thomas. I was handed a copy of the substitution of counsel this morning. Um, I'm simply here in case the court had any questions. I did file my objection to the media coverage for this hearing as well as the settlement conference. But no, I'm aware of the um, motion. All right, thank you. And the court uh, appreciates that. I did rule on that uh, and a minute entry will issue. Uh, I did notify the parties, obviously, Ms. Castillo, you didn't receive that notification given uh, your appearance here this morning. I'll accept the stipulation for substitution of counsel. Ms. Kenobi, did you receive the file from prior counsel at this point? I did not receive anything from Mr. Countryman. Okay, uh, then what I will do as part of today's proceedings is order that Mr. Countryman uh, provide uh, Mr. Um, Thomas's file to Ms. Castillo, and Ms. Castillo, you can contact Mr. Countryman to make those arrangements. What I would ask is if there are any problems with that, that you contact me sooner rather than later so that we can make sure to address that. Thank you, Your Honor. And I believe the state has also agreed to submit all of the letters of disclosure in order for us to compare notes and figure out what we're missing. So. All right. Thank you. Before we proceed then, Ms. Kenobi, I think uh, at this point uh, you are relieved from any further obligations in the matter. I appreciate you being here this morning. I know you were here uh, for a great majority of the morning. Thank you, Your Honor. Let me go to you just because uh, Ms. Castillo has just joined us on this case and I want to just see if you two have had a chance to speak uh, and address uh, how best to proceed at this time. We did speak this morning, Your Honor. Um, what uh, defense already indicated, I told her that we would send her all the letters of uh, discovery or discovery receipts that we have so she can compare what she gets as part of the file and make sure she's not missing anything. And then whatever she's missing, if she notifies my office, we can uh, put together a new disclosure of that to supplement whatever she gets from Mr. Countryman. Additionally, we did discuss how to proceed on the case. I know the court had a settlement conference date reserved for us. Um, after discussing this with new counsel, I'm not certain that that date will be um, viable for her to be able to go through what she needs to to be up to speed. Uh, it was slightly more viable with prior counsel if, uh, if they had had this extra week or two to work through things, but at this point, I don't believe it is. All right, I appreciate that. Ms. Castillo, you're in agreement with that as well? I do agree with that, Your Honor. So in terms of proceeding, given your new uh, recent involvement in the case, given the fact that you'll still need to review the discovery and, and other information, I think before you'll be in a position certainly to have a settlement conference, um, do you want to proceed with setting a status conference? first and then we can uh, address whether or not a settlement conference at that point is appropriate with me or someone else or whether um, we need to proceed with setting uh, other dates that we would otherwise set. I have no objection to just changing the December 15th date as a uh, status conference if you want to okay. do that, Your Honor, if that works. That's fine with me, Judge. No point in, in uh, the special time setting, though, if you want to put it on a normal morning calendar. That's a fair point. I think we had it set on a Friday yeah, we, and we had 90 minutes set aside, which we obviously won't need. Thank um, you for that. So maybe that same week, unless you folks tell That's me fine, up. Judge. Uh, maybe move it back to Wednesday or Thursday and free up your Friday. I would appreciate having that opportunity to work with other folks on that Friday. So the 13th or the 14th, do you have a preference, Ms. Grimsman? Either works for me, Judge. Ms. Castillo? The 13th would be preferable, Your Honor. All right, let's set you on the 13th of December at 8.30. Uh, we will vacate the settlement conference that was previously set on December the 20th. Does your client agree to waive time? I may have a moment, Your Honor. And, and I'm just looking at the last day. We may not need to even address that. It's 
February 26th at this point. No objection, Your Honor. Okay, all right. I'll give you a new last day. It is March 21st. March 21st of 2018 will be the new last day. We'll set the status conference, as I said, for December the 13th at 8.30. The settlement conference on, I think I said the wrong date earlier, I apologize, on the 15th uh, is vacated. And Ms. Grimsman, is there anything else from the state's perspective? Not that I know of, Your Honor. Ms. Castillo. Nothing further, Your Honor. All right, Mr. Thomas says, I've advised you before you do need to be present, this time on December the 13th, uh, that's a Wednesday uh, at 8.30. If you fail to appear, a warrant is likely to issue, any bond that you posted is likely to be forfeited, and the state can ask to proceed in your absence. If there's nothing else, I'll see you folks then. Thank you.